Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be taking the absolute defensive machine a ratio out for a little bit of a test run in Story 28, see how much damage he can absorb and see if he can clear the mission. He is an absolute unit. But first of all, I'd just like to say thanks for everybody who's been subscribing of late and there is going to be some main series Assassin's Creed 2 gameplay coming to the channel over the next day or two. Buzzing for it, it was my favourite game, not only in Assassin's Creed franchise, but in all the games I've played. So I'm really looking forward to jumping back into that, so make sure you subscribe for that. Right, Horatio, let's get into him. Now, he is just an absolute powerhouse, such a tank. Um, his skill here, buff self-health for 25%, and defense is by 35% for 25 ticks. He's already a defensive unit, already an absolute defensive unit. With here, defense is potent, increased by 30%. Um, reduces all incoming damage for 50% when under 30% health. So once you get below 30% health, you're taking less damage anyway. He's obviously got the Stunning Blow, which um, deals a nice bit of damage and stuns them for three ticks. And also the Retaliate. So reduces uh, the next enemy strike by 20%. And then reflects 150% of the incoming damage back to him. So he's just all about absorbing damage. And my God, when they call him Enforcer Tank, there needs to be a bigger word for him because he's literally the Hulk Buster. Pretty much. I mean, he's got armor all over him except for his hands. So we're going to jump into a bit of um, Mission 28 here. Or Story 28. I got corrected on that. Keep calling it Mission 28. It's actually Story 28. So, right, so here we go. Let's go in. <clears throat> Got the team already lined up. And we're going to go in. I can't wait because he's just an absolute beast. He's not massively hard hitting. He does a nice bit of damage. But it's just the fact you can absorb so much damage with him. It just, it's awesome. Right, it's going to be a good one. Yusuf has made that. It's going to be a good, good try. Let him get through this bit. Come on. Could have really just done with him critting there to get this over and done with. Right, now it's Horatio's time. Yes, if I'm pronouncing his name right. I really hope I am. Right, boom. Look at that. Nice solid bit of damage there. Get the retaliate up. Stun him. Lovely four. Just over 4k damage. He's down. Absolute unit. And for an epic hero as well, it just makes him all that little bit better. So gets initiative. Look at that. 5k. Well, over 5k. It says stun for three ticks, but he broke out that stun well quickly. But he's retaliating and he's got him down. And I'm actually doing a challenge that I didn't even look at. Right, these are the nimble little gits, but right, that's alright. He's done that. Their health pool isn't the biggest. He's taken him down. So, right, now let's get Yusuf here. Right, let's jump through here. I hate that. Why do they line that up with their names at the top? Right, boost ourselves just to get over this for the final show. But Horatio is just... He's awesome. Like, for Helix Rift events, he'll just do you such a solid job. Like, if you've got to take two legendaries in and he's your third, um, like, to make up the team, well worth taking him in. Well worth taking him in. If you've got to take an epic in, I do suggest you take him in because he just he'll last all day. He really will in a Helix Rift event. Right. <coughs> right, we're at the final room. So right. I'm not gonna use his ability at the minute. Nope, I don't want that. How do I click off of it? Right, that's it. Right, let's increase his health. Now let's heal him up. Just gonna throw these all in here because I can't get back into this room after. But hopefully this will sort him out. So we're not going to activate his defensive ability yet. Because as long as it lasts, I just want it for the end. So let's get in and stun this fella. This is the only annoying bit. Is the fact that that stun takes so long to come back on line. So this next fight behind me, I'm going to have to do without stunning him. So... But he's alright, he's doing there, he's staying very healthy, taking very, very little damage. Come on, I need a nice crit. He got a miss there, which is nice. And he stunned him, right, that's great. So we'll take this enemy in. 
down, sorry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pop his ability. He seems to snap out of that so quickly. It's really annoying. Right, so we're there. We're two away from Tornado now. Well, him and Tornado. Right. Do that. Get that in. Get that stun up. Get the reflect up. I mean, the more I crit, obviously, the easier I get through this. That's obviously just common sense. But quite hard to crit against this fella. Right, just do this because I know it will do it. Right, now, let's stun him. Can he do it? Can he do it? Come on. I need a couple of good little crits going my way. A little bit of reduced damage. I mean, he's still tanking. Hitting extremely hard. That was a lovely crit. And a miss. That was great. Really needed that. Boom. Down he goes. Down he goes. Right. Come on. Get the retaliate up. Last little bit of health. That will stun him and he's down. Absolutely down. Now I have extra trained Horatio. Just so that you don't think you can get just a bog standard Horatio. And go straight into the mission and complete it. I'll show you exactly what it is that I've done to him. Uh, right at the end. Well, after this cutscene. So I'll show you the extra training I have put into him. They've got to fix this. I've told them about this. Because, like, all you're doing is looking at a wobbly screen. Like, I don't even want the rewards. I can't even be bothered to look at it. But, yeah, I've reported that as a bug and everything like that. Because that's just winding me up. Um, right, where do we go? Right, so if we go back to the HQ and we'll go to the extra training room i will show you exactly what i put in in horatio because he's just an absolute defensive beast so right if i go to horatio so here it is obviously you can see my coins are looking a little bit less shaggy than they probably did in the last video that's because i basically put close to i'd say eight hundred thousand extra training into him so I put four, three in his health and four in his defense, and he got through that nicely. So, yeah, he's well worth putting them in. I mean, you don't really to do, need to do much to his attack or things like that because his main ability is just tanking damage. So if you can make that just that little bit better, I mean, I think his health has increased from two, two point eight to three point one. So it just makes the world a difference. And obviously his defence as well. I think that was again at like 3.8 or something like that. 3.9 gone up to 4.1. Okay, so just adding him into his little bit of extra defence just means that he could just tank through that. And that was so satisfying. That was so nice because most people were just relying on hard hitting. And he does hit reasonably hard. He's got a nice whack on him. He really has. But he's just such a defensive powerhouse that like, the attack doesn't really matter because you're not really taking too much damage. And that's end-game content. Like, nothing really hits that hard in the game, apart from possibly the odd Helix Rift event. But even then, it'll, it'll breeze that. He really, really will. So I hope you enjoyed Horatio absolutely melting people in uh, Mission 28. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Don't forget, stay tuned for the Assassin's Creed 2 gameplay. Can't wait for it. Take care.